Hey, hey, welcome back. Uh, so what we're going to work on this time is an app called Quick Chat. Uh, you can click on the, the link above to go see the doc on what Quick Chat is all about. Uh, so Quick Chat is an app that does Google sign-in. So you're going to learn about Google sign-in, obviously. Uh, you're going to be able to make posts, uh, so pretty simple things. So here I'm signed in as Dave Fisher. Um, we're going to use SideNav, so if you wanted to, you could sign out and you could sign in with Google. Uh, you can go ahead and visit the uh, the domain that I'm at here. It's just uh, Quick Chat and then some crazy letters and numbers. Um, and you can just go ahead and make a post. So this is a post from Dr. Fisher. Uh, you can see some things that this does is it gives you the ability to uh, grab the Google profile picture, uh, to grab the name. You'll notice I never type my name in anywhere. Um, that's just my name is saved by Google. I um, mean, what it does is it shows my post uh, and then it also shows other people post altogether. Um, and you can see that wherever it shows one of my posts, um, I've got this edit and delete button uh, so I can delete posts that are mine. Or if somebody else made the post, you know, you can't edit and delete it. Uh, you'll also notice that there's things like the snack bar here. So if I delete the number eight, uh, it says undo. And it's like, oh, I want to undo that. Um, you can actually bring it back. So we're going to implement uh, undo, which is a feature that's useful for a lot of things. Um, and then there's also um, some Firebase queries. So we've got all posts, and then you can also see just my post. We're going to show you how to do that with the Firebase query. Uh, we're also going to learn about something called streams, which will make a lot more sense once we kind of get into it. So these are some of the skills that we learn. Um, I guess at the highest level, the thing we're learning about is Google sign-in. Uh, but really, there's all these other things. And really, it's streams and services that you're going to be spending a lot of time with. Uh, once you finish uh, with this quick chat app, uh, you'll be able to continue to make progress on your lab. Uh, so one of the things on the lab is Google sign-in. Uh, so you'll know how to do Google sign-in. It's pretty easy. Uh, you'll also know how to do something, uh, what's called an off guard, uh, the right way. Uh, so for example, if I sign out um, and I try to go to like the main page, uh, you can see that it bounces me over to sign in because I'm not signed in properly. There's also a couple more pages in the lab. So for example, in the lab, you can click on an image. I'll take you to that page. But if I go to like copy that to my clipboard uh, and I sign out um, and I try to go to that page, um, you know, it'll boot me out from there as well. And that off guard is something we're going to teach you how to do right. So the first thing that you're going to do in this app is you're going to start with the setup steps. Uh, so you're going to set it up on uh, Ada or GitHub. Uh, so to make yourself a project, um, you're going to run NPM new uh, quick chat. Uh, make sure you put on the hyphen hyphen routing when you do that. Um, and then you're going to do the setup steps to bring in um, the forms module, which used to be default, but now you have to add it. Um, Angular Fire, um, and you also get Firebase with that. Um, Angular Material 2 and Angular Flex Layout. So we've done those steps many times, so I'm just going to leave you to, to do them on your own. Uh, but what I want you to do is I want you to do those setup steps. Uh, so I've just kind of done mine here off camera. Uh, some of them still need to get checked in. So it's like set up uh, my three packages uh, plus the forms module, right? So I've already done mine, so you're going to have to do yours as well. And so there's a lot of changes that go into these things. You have to do things in the app module. Um, <laughs> the, the ugly one is the material uh, design module. It has a really ugly import process. But you'll go through and do that setup. Uh, once you've got things set up, the, the little quick test I want you to do is I want you to make your HTML look like this. Uh, so just have an MD toolbar just to kind of make sure your setup is fine. Um, convert things over to use Sassy CSS. Uh, so you can see here I've added an app theme. Uh, you can use whatever you want as your app theme. Here I, I chose to use teal, which is fine. I haven't picked my accent color yet, but the moral of the story is that those are really easy to change. I'm using Sassy CSS in every place. Um, my Angular CLI config, this is optional. Um, I also um, set some more defaults uh, just because I could. Uh, so this style extension I set to Sassy CSS. Uh, and then this I don't think we've done before, but you can actually, um, in the Angular CLI, uh, make it not make spec files for you. I was just goofing with that between videos. So that's how you can make it not make spec files if you choose to do that. Uh, but cool, once you get those things set up, uh, what you should be able to have is you should be able to have an app that looks like this. So you should have your little fav icon in there. It should say quick space chat um, in, the, in the title bar. Um, and then it should have a um, 
material design toolbar and it should say quick jet. Uh, you should also probably make sure that there's no, no errors happening over here. Um, and then also make sure that you've got your, your code checked in. Uh, so you're submitting it to some Git repository uh, and that it's synced up with that repository. All right, go ahead and do those things and I will see you next time uh, when we start using it. All right, see you then. Bye. Mm -hmm.